Hi, and welcome back to the Developer Show's coverage at GDD India. I'm Dan Galpin, here talking to Nasir Khan about running in the background on Android. Now, Nasir, what do you mean when you say running in the background? Um, as I said in my talk, it could mean different things to different developers. It could mean running off the main thread, uh, running on, it, on a background thread. It could also mean running a background service, or running on off a broadcast receiver being called, or it could mean reacting to FCM message. It could mean different things. Isn't this a problem that's been you know, really well solved? You're right, it's been solved. Uh, it's been solved in many different ways, and there are many use cases and best practices already out there. But Android platform also has been changing. Um, the first changes were introduced in Marshmallow and we introduced those, and over time there have been progressive changes which have been changing the way background processing works. The most significant of them has been the Oreo background restrictions on free running services and implicit broadcasts. Yeah, how does Android O change then what developers have to consider? So I think um, you have, must have heard of term background restrictions in Oreo. I would like to call it an opportunity for developers to take a step back and look at their apps and see how they can optimize their app to be more battery efficient with these changes. Is there anything that O is offering that can actually help developers? Actually it is. So there have been changes on one hand to restrict the background service, but on the other hand we are introducing new constructs like a job intent service, which actually makes it really, really easy for developers to write the similar kind of code they were writing before, but handle it in a way which is which is better handled on O devices. So that, and also there have been new changes in the scheduler API as well, where they can actually uh, see more new constraints like uh, does the device have enough storage? Does the device have enough battery to run? So they can be more mindful of the device states as well. Well, that's great. Now, where can developers go to learn more about the changes in O and how to help adapt what their apps are doing? I would say they should start at developer.android.com. Um, there is a lot of narrative documentation around it. There's also good reference talk that has been recently updated in these areas. They can also refer to the, some blog posts that we wrote around background restrictions lately. Thank you, Nasir, for joining us today. Now visit the description below if you'd like to find out more about background processing on Android and Android O.